Hello, good people. This is Bill Smoot. I'll be teaching a course on the social movements of the 60s. A Tale of Two Cities famously begins saying it was the best of times and the worst of times. And that opening line always calls to my mind the nature of the social movements of the 60s. Uh, they did contain so much promise, so much pain, so much success, so much failure, so much love so much anger and hatred. And so what we'll do in this uh, course is to take a look back at the social movements of that decade and try to gain some analytic clarity, uh, some knowledge and some wisdom about the 60s. Um, we will begin by talking about the early civil rights movement of the 1960s, uh, trace the way that that morphs more into a black power movement We'll talk about the rising student movement, take a look at the free speech movement at Berkeley, um, as well as the student movement across the country. The Port Huron Statement, which was a kind of ideological document uh, defining this new left. We'll talk about uh, the rise of the counterculture and in Berkeley, the way that that came to a rather uh, violent climax in that one square block still in the news today, uh, which was People's Park. We'll also look at the anti-war movement from the early peaceful protests to the more militant expressions. Um, we'll look, of course, at the women's movement and the beginnings of the, civil, of the uh, ecology movement and the brown, yellow, and uh, red movements um, of the latter part of the decade. The focus will be on the social movements, but of course we'll need to look at how they interacted with what we then call the establishment and the way in which uh, some of their successes in fact were the way they manifested their desires um, in the establishment through, for example, the Civil Rights Act of 64 and the Voting Rights Act of 65. The class itself will be about 80% lecture with a lot of video footage used and about 20% discussion. Um, along the way, we'll pay some attention to the nature of history as an intellectual discipline and exactly how we gather all of these events into some kind of coherent story which is both truthful and which gives us a kind of knowledge and hopefully wisdom that we can also uh, apply to the present. So for those of you who are interested, I look forward to seeing you in the spring. Thank you.